mono implant okay so this is a auto clavable sterilizable kit surgical kit box okay so when you see here you can see that the drills are arranged as short and long so the short drill is 20 mm drill and the long drill is a 30 mm drill and both the drills are having the stopper so that is like a pre protective thing where you will not end up going beyond 30 mm if you want to go beyond 30 mm for a zygoma or something then the drills are different and obviously level of expertise level of understanding is different okay so if you have pre-operatively planned that my inside will be 14 or 17 the multimodal you have done the thought process you have discussed so let's say you have gone 14 at the most you will go 17 uh, at 20 though you have to th start thinking that why I am going 20 correct okay or you may just take like yesterday how I showed you you can take a quick chair side x-ray just to counter check there is something below the dent at least I know 6 8 to mera tha nahi to 12 ya 14 mein se hi rahega. that is common sense and if I am going above the dent then immediately above the dent there is a 15 mm mark and that is 17 and 20 so 90 percent of the cases will complete here what you can also do instead is you can use the shorter drill in that particular case the stopper is adjusted at exactly 20 mm sorry no 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 this is permanent stopper okay so it is fixed at this position so short and long these are the bone expansion screws okay so again they are having the sizes 3 3.2 3.7 for all practical purposes you only require the 3.2 expansion screw okay this expansion screw will sit on your talk ratchet and you can ratchet it in then you have this drivers so there is a long driver and a short driver a large head and a small head so if you see there is a long driver for the large head and a regular head similarly there is a driver for the regular head long short and extra short see this so in OSMF cases and all this is really helpful lower 6 lower 7 where mouth opening is but otherwise the driver itself is you know sticking and the upper 8 is touching and then it becomes difficult to work and sometimes for good mouth opening I will always prefer the longer one but again it is personal choice as I told you the o-ring and the multi-unit driver we will not get as of now with the kit but luckily for us it is already launched and I think by next week if any one of you wants to make screw retain prosthesis just give me one week's time it will be commercially available mode of application placement of implant everything same only after imp only the implant aid to put it will change obviously head will change and after that the impression technique will change because you are making screw retain so you will have to take a open tray impression so we will give the impression post you will screw it on the implant and then make a open tray impression there is also a provision in this system to make a closed tray impression with a screwable post fine it almost goes similar to conventional implant but your concepts of placement of implant are same this is a lab what they call it lab hand driver but basically this is more for the compressive implant so some doctors know they prefer not to touch the implant so they can pick it up in this and then attach it to the motor and the motor you can keep it at 50 rpm and slowly introduce the compressive implant in the board like how you do for the conventional implant most important thing to understand here is the ratchet especially for beginners so this is the ratchet okay and if you see this is an advanced stock ratchet over here the markings are written 20, 40, 60, 60 and infinity can you see this and over here the marking is written 
uh, 15 and 70 so what you have to do doctor is you can see this line in the center here so let's say i want to set the ratchet at 40 ncm so and this is in so i will start turning and you will see the line is reaching 40 ncm okay you get this if i want to set it at 20 ncm i will keep the line at 20 ncm and so on so what happens is when you have taken the driver and you are ratcheting the moment this is you have to keep on the in in means you are putting the implant in if i put reverse you are putting the implant out got it so yesterday i told you for compressive implant two turns in two turns out so two turns in one turn out two turn in one turn out just flip the ratchet okay and the moment you will reach the 20 ncm this will lock break it's called breaking of the ratchet it will break like this once it breaks that means you have achieved 20 ncm now you but the implant is still not gone in the bone so what you will do you will increase your to 30 or 40 ncm and then again you will start ratcheting if it breaks at 40 ncm means you have achieved 40 ncm you are getting the point and so anyone who is interested in numerical values then for compressive implant you should try to achieve anywhere between 40 to 60 ncm not more than 60 not less than 40 for BCS implant you should achieve minimum of 50 ncm but above that anything is fine there is no upper limit but lower limit I would suggest 50 ncm at least you should target so if I put a BCS implant and it is rotating or at 20 ncm the complete implant goes in that means I would say the torque is insufficient got it clear with this so this is the ratchet along with that in the kit you will get a hand grip this hand grip is more for the drill so the drill will sit on it like this okay and you can use it but my personal suggestion is don't do this the reason is that especially as beginners when we are placing the pterygoid implant okay you will require the same drill out and when you remove this do all this you will lose your direction careful with this if it falls on the it's very heavy also if it falls on the leg or it actually it can just pierce your leg it is that sharp just be very careful okay then you palpate and then you can use the drill which i have showed you along with that yesterday as i showed you we were using the two hand grips so regular head hand grip and the wide head hand grip. So it is for bending over implant. Bending as well as placement. Yes. Handling the implant. Got it? So this is so it. Both QS and the... Both, both. Because the head, abutment head is the same for both.